example I started in class and I should finish it so I'll record it all the way through and so this is sample problem now there's just some more examples okay yeah well that's good news all right so this one has um, both a two force member so this is okay so this is class 12 and ES uh, 110 and this is fall of 2020 so um, go back to it I made a free body diagram of uh, this piece right here has a force on it, it's going downwards. Um, this has an unknown force, let's leave that alone for right now. This has a reaction force, so I can predict that it's going to be a um, reaction at B, Y. Unless I'm just going to make this one to the right, because I don't know the direction right now, so I'll just assume it's that way. Let's make it my other FBD of my other part of the thing, right? So I'm separating this part out and try to make it look close to the original. Just eyeball it right here. But nope. Let me move it a little bit. Let's see. Here's the angle that's formed between these two right here. I'm going to try to transfer that down over to there so it's going to be correct. So it looks something like that right there. Right? Now, this is the line of action, and maybe I should have made it dashed or dotted. Um, but the force that's right at here is going to be um, along that line. So we can actually transfer that line over to here and take a look at it. Now, there's a couple different things we could do to decide. Uh, and we know that the, the force is going to be all along this line, but maybe we don't know if it's going to be up and to the left and down and to the right. So if we're trying to make that decision, my microphone on uh, my last recording didn't sound very good, so I'm going to try to investigate that, but not a good time right now. Okay, so this is 250 newtons. I can put that in there. All right, so if this one's going, going to make the thing go counterclockwise, this one better make it go clockwise, right? If we went to go upwards, that too would make it go kind of clockwise. So our decision is this must be downwards. All right, so I have to pause this because one of my students is here. Okay, so how do I do that? Pause. Was it working now? All right. Okay, and so this is going to be RD. That's the reaction at D. And we, we notice that this is also D right here. So if that's going down and to the right, this one has to be coming up and to the left. And it would totally maybe be, it, it would make total sense that you were skeptical that this was correct. And this would be RC. So you want to try to apply logic. It's going to pivot about B. Let's pretend this was flexible and we push down in here. This would have to go upwards, right? If this is going down, that has to go up if it's pivoting at B. And that would tend to crush this if it was flexible. So it make this direction makes sense. It's the forces that are on the piece. It's very important that like you you get confidence in that that that's going to when uh, look, when my hair looks terrible today. <laughs> I should put a hat on. Um, I should just turn the video off. Okay. So uh, other things that we want to try to put on here. Right, so, okay, so things I need to do, I need to get this angle. I decided to call him beta. And that beta was the, get the inverse tangent of the rise, which is opposite from there, 60 over 100. You do that and you find it at 30.96 degrees, right? So um, now I put the rest of the dimensions onto this uh, right here. And um, so this dimension is A, which is 30. So I'll just write the 30 right in there. This dimension here is 60. 
This dimension from here to here, here to here, is 40 plus 100, so that's 140. And then um, I'll put in this angle right there. That's our 30.96. So if we take the sum of the moments about this B, because we don't know him, that's a good place to take it about. Then counterclockwise, we have 250. And let's go ahead and um, use millimeters. Uh, no, use meters. Okay. So 0.06. And then um, we want to in our think about this thing being broken down into x and y uh, components. So the um, y component of this, right, the vertical one, which is going to be the sine of R D, is going to go uh, clockwise, right? It's going to go downwards uh, from this. So that's going to be negative R D times the sine of 30.96. And then the x component, looking at this, that's actually going to go clockwise, counterclockwise, right? So that's actually, oh, and I forgot to put the moment arm. That's a big mistake. People do that all the time. I do it. I go too fast. Um, 0 0.140, yep. So it's doing down because that's the perpendicular to that vertical force, right? And then this is uh, the horizontal, and I, like I said, it's going to be... Um, uh, going counterclockwise, so it's the cosine of 30.96, and the moment arm is going to be uh, 30 millimeters or 0 0.03 meters, and that's going to be equal to zero. We work that out, we get RD is going to be equal to 324 newtons, and we would say that it's going to be 30.96 would be the reaction right there, right? Um, but the, actually, that wasn't actually one of the questions. They wanted it for a B and C, so we shouldn't box something that's not the answer. So, um, but C, we can see that actually C is uh, uh, going, that is going to be the same magnitude right here, right? And it's actually coming downwards. So, you know, if we were being lazy, I'll write this out. 324 newtons. That's the quadrant. Remember that that's horizontal right here, and that one's coming down so it's to show you the, the direction. So that is the answer right there. That one didn't need to be boxed and didn't need that thing. Here. Now um, at B, right to finish up, we get the some of the moments about uh, about B. Let's see. Did I do this one? No, I, uh, I didn't do it. Um, hmm, okay. One second. Um, it's kind of funny. All right, so some of the uh, forces in the x direction equals zero. Uh, pop, 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 pop. And we get that uh, this one is, I'm losing it, RBX in a horizontal. And then nothing here horizontal. So this is all this. Um, and we add uh, that RD. 324 here, and do the cosine of 30.96, and I'm going to get a negative uh, answer as part of that. So that's going to be, oh no, it's supposed to be equal to zero. Sorry, don't do that that way. Equal to zero, and RBX is equal to negative 277.8 newtons, therefore RBX is equal to 277.8 newtons data ways, right? We, we picked, I drew this wrong because I got a negative value, therefore it's the opposite direction. And then some of the forces in the y direction equals zero. And I get, um, I'm gonna use RBY. And subtract uh, 250 going downwards, and then also subtract out uh, 324.0 sine of 30.96 equals 0, and my RBY is going to be equal to 
416.7 newtons. Boom. So if we were going to get the um, reaction at B, we get the square root there uh, of the square of 277.8 squared plus uh, 416.7 squared. Get out a handy dandy Hewlett Packard uh, calculator here. 277.8 squared 416.7 squared atom square root 500.8 newtons. And if I want to figure out the angle of the reaction B right here, inverse tan of, let's see, that's going to be rise over run 416.7 and 277.8 so that's 416.7 and 277.8 um, I get it's going to be 56.31 degrees I'm going to write that down 56.31 degrees now let's say that we uh, want to do a nice uh, scale thing of this. This is a three-force member. So I'd like to figure out if that's going to be um, the right angle onto the thing. So um, using some of our, let's see, can I fold it? I can't, okay, if I fold that, the next one's going to be folded, right? Uh, let's, get, you know, let's get like a nice piece of paper here. And what, is, what are the dimensions? Do I want to scale it? No, I don't want to scale it. I don't have that kind of time. I don't want to make the video longer than it needs to be. I'm just going to eyeball it. Okay. So here is a force that's coming down. So all of these forces should be in line with each other, right? And here is that angle right here that was coming in, right? So right here was that force. So right here is a concurrent point. So we think that the line that's coming down to this direction right there, right? Um, I should have part of this part of my answer. Remember, this was to the left and this was up. So if we were looking for the quadrant, it would be that direction right there, right? So we're saying that this angle let's say right here better be 56.31 degrees but let's just figure out what that angle is going to be and in order to do that we probably want to get this distance which we already have is going to be 60 and then get this distance uh, that we have now we know that this angle is our 30.96 degrees right and we know that this entire length right here, based on this, is 200, right? So here's 200. So we could find, and if I was going to start labeling things, I'm going to go A, let's do it like the book did, A, B, D. Where do you C for something else? Let's use this as E, um, and this is F, maybe, right? So, um... What we're going to find here from this geometry, we could get the AE is going to be uh, with this 200 right here. That's rise over run, right? So we have the run, so we measure, we could take, um, yeah, 200 times the tangent of 30.96, right? So 30.96 tangent 200 times. So that comes out to uh, 120, right? So there's 120 uh, millimeters between here and here. Now we should, uh, now we can also um, take out this distance right here, which we happen to know is going to be uh, 30 right here, right? That, 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 so um, AF is equal to 30, therefore, EF is going to be AE minus AF 
and that's going to get us to be, I think we could do that in our heads, couldn't we? 120 minus 30 is going to be equal to 90, right? And we also know uh, uh, this dimension right here is uh, 60, right? So that would be BF is equal to 60. So the angle that we might want to get, I could call it not, I call it something else. Uh, gamma. Oh yeah, why not gamma? Gamma is going to be the inverse tangent of uh, rise over run, right? EF over BF. So 90 over 60, and I haven't done this, so I hope it's going to work out the right way. So 90, 60 divided, inverse tangent, 56.31 degrees. Oh, look at that. Kaboom. We've confirmed that this is a three-fourths member that has a concurrent point right there. And that's the end of the video. So how long did the video take? Because I got interrupted. 16 minutes.